Hi, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss how to write a Java program to throw illegal access exception. This is the problem definition. Write a Java program that contain one method which will throw illegal access exception and use proper exception handlers so that exception should be printed properly. So what we need to do is uh, we need to write a Java program which will contain at least one method which will throw an exception called as illegal access exception explicitly and uh, we should handle this particular exception wherever that particular method is called. So uh, we will start with uh, uh, creating a class. So I have created a class called as uh, test in this case. After this, I have added the method signature that is a static void. The name of the function or a method is fun in this case. Because this particular function is going to throw an exception called as illegal access exception, I have used throws keyword and then I have listed that particular exception here. So throws keyword is used to list the exception that this particular method may throw uh, in future. So that is what we have done here. Next, I have added one simple statement like uh, inside this particular function and then I have added or I have thrown an exception called as illegal access exception explicitly with the help of throw keyword in this case. That is throw the instance uh, variable that is new illegal access exception illegal exception over here. So what I'm doing here is I'm explicitly throwing an exception called as illegal access exception in this case. Now, uh, what we have to do is uh, because this particular function or a method fun is going to throw an exception called as illegal access exception, we have to have a try and cache block wherever we have called this particular method in uh, uh, the Java program. Now, we will add the main part of the program that is a public static void main and uh, so and so because uh, we are calling this particular fun here and this fun is going to throw an exception explicitly we have to put this fun within try block here because it will throw an exception called as illegal access exception so we need to put it in try block and we should have an associated cache block to handle this particular exception so associated cache block is cache illegal access exception e and system dot out dot println you can print some message or you can directly print the system defined message over here now this is uh, the end of this particular program so the very first thing what we did is we have created a class and then we have added a method as uh, given in the problem definition because this particular method is going to throw an exception explicitly we have listed it with the help of throws while defining this particular method and within this particular method we have thrown an exception called as illegal access exception explicitly because we have thrown an exception in this particular method, we have to have a trend cache block wherever we have called this particular method. So while calling this particular method, we put this uh, fun within this particular try block and we will uh, have an associated cache block to handle this particular illegal access exception over here. This is how the output will look like. So first it will display this particular inside the function. And then because we are throwing this particular exception, it will go to this particular cache block and then it will print the system defined message that is java.lang. Uh, illegal access exception. After this, we will print this particular message that is called as illegal exception. You can add any message over here that will be printed at the end here. So in this program, uh, I have discussed how can we write a Java program which will throw an exception called as illegal access exception and how to handle those particular exception with a proper uh, try and cache block and display the proper message over here. I hope uh, the program is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.